Are you interested in a career as an air traffic controller? Air traffic controllers are known to have stressful jobs. They're also known to make pretty good money. Is all of this true? Let's find out. In this video, we will go over who air traffic controllers tend to work for, the job market, and at the end of the video, we will go over air traffic controller salaries. Hey everybody, my name is Stephen Hack and this is Career Watch, a YouTube channel focused on giving you the latest up-to-date information on different careers. For weekly videos on job statistics, salary statistics, and other career information, consider subscribing. Air traffic controllers coordinate the movement of aircraft to maintain safe distances between them. Their primary concern is safety, but they also must direct aircraft efficiently to minimize delays. Air traffic controllers manage the flow of aircraft into and out of the airport airspace, guide pilots during takeoff and landing, and monitor aircraft as they travel through the skies. They use radar, computers, or visual references to monitor and direct the movement of aircraft. Air traffic controllers usually manage multiple aircraft at the same time and must make quick decisions to ensure the safety of the aircraft. So who do air traffic controllers tend to work for? Well, 92% of air traffic controllers work for the federal government. So if you were to become an air traffic controller, you would most likely be working for the federal government. There are pros and cons to working for the federal government. Usually they accrue more sick leave, more vacation days, and usually they get a lot more holidays than the private sector employees. Federal government employees usually enjoy pretty good job security. Despite 92% of air traffic controllers working for the federal government, many of them actually have to work holidays, weekends, and even night shift. This is because air traffic doesn't occur between nine and five. Air traffic occurs 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Next, let's take a look at the job market for air traffic controllers. If there is one word to describe the job market for air traffic controllers, it is static. In the year 1999, there was 22,620 jobs for air traffic controllers. By the year 2018, there were 22,390 jobs for air traffic controllers. So over this 20 year time period, there was a loss of 230 jobs for air traffic controllers. Because of this, becoming an air traffic controller is extremely challenging. So what does the government think of the future job market for air traffic controllers. The government is forecasting a 1% increase in jobs for air traffic controllers over the next 10 years. So not only is it really challenging to get an air traffic controller job now, it will continue to be. Next, let's take a look at the wages. Wages have been consistently growing over the past 20 years. In the year 1999, the average air traffic controller was making a little over $73,000 per year. By the year 2018, this average wage had risen to a little over $120,000 per year. So wages for air traffic controllers rose over $47,000 over 20 years, or about $2,400 Per year. Are you interested in becoming an air traffic controller? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.